I'm Niki and welcome to another art video. This is another portrait and actually this portrait specifically is the first portrait that I started with. So my videos are kind of in out of order. Um, I did this one first but as I mentioned in a previous video I couldn't get it off Twitch before. Um, I finally did get it off Twitch and edited. Long story some of the programs I was using just wasn't like working well with the Twitch video, but right now I'm using DaVinci Resolve to edit this and it was able to um, handle the video, thankfully. So here we are. I love this portrait. I loved the reference so much. I was so excited to draw it. Um, I just love her expression. It's like this little angry little pout on her. On her face you know I, the the original reference is so much cuter than mine I feel like um my face shape wasn't right on this one but I, I really love how it came out how it came out at this point I was fresh I was new to this this uh, this portrait drawing journey you know and I was excited so I was really like focusing in on everything every little detail and I really spent a long time on this one um, I, I didn't go into detail with the clothes which you'll see later well I mean it looks like I spent a lot of time on it but in all honesty I could have probably done more um, but I really tried my hardest on the face um, I think I could have spent a little bit more time figuring out the, the sketch which isn't in this video unfortunately because I think um, I actually came up with this sketch. I, I decided I was going to start on portraits outside of stream, so I didn't record um, doing the sketch of this. So that's why we went straight into lines and coloring. Um, so yeah, so I was able to uh, really experiment with, you know, laying down color for the first time in this one. You know, I was starting to fall in love with that look with all of the uh, hard edged lights and shadows um it was this painting that really ignited that love for this look because it came out so good on this one especially the ear it looked really good there and really over the whole image and i feel like that's because the original reference had such amazing contrast you know it was really a wonderful reference image and i'm glad it was the one that i, that I started with you know um as being the beginning of this process it was good it was a good jumping off point and it gave me a lot of good practice with getting the lights and darks right and getting the colors right, you know, my color choice. And then this multicolor top to finish off the color blocking step. All right, and now we're into the rendering. So this is uh, where it got really satisfying, you know, just like seeing like all of the colors that I put down um, being blended together and seeing how if it worked or not, you know. So usually this is where you can tell, did I choose the right colors? Did I put them in the right place? When you start blending everything together, you can start to see it come alive. And it started to work really well. And um, by the time I finished blending all the colors in the face, I was so happy with, with it. I was like, wow. Well. I was surprised with myself. <laughs> yeah, the face is like pretty much rendered now. And oh, I did forget to block in the lips, so I'm doing that now. And I didn't do the shading on the shirt yet either. Silly me. There we go. <laughs> Basic shading. I, t I told you I like I don't put in that much effort when it comes to the clothes. It's really bad because you know the clothes are so important to like telling the story of your your piece. And I'm just like I don't know. I just always feel intimidated by picking outfits for my characters. I either go really like stereotypical or like really basic like when I do portraits from imagination usually they're just wearing like a tank top or just a t-shirt I don't usually give them anything special or maybe like little frills around the shoulder straps or something just like trying to be special <laughs> I don't know it's just it's always so hard for me it's one of those things that I have to kind of Im increase my visual library for you know do a lot of pieces from, ima from not imagination pieces from reference you know like look up cool outfits like I, I I don't like like fashionable outfits like modern fashionable outfits they're kind of boring to me I want my characters to be in interesting outfits with 
you know, interesting colors and something different. And I guess that's part of the reason that I, I don't really give them interesting outfits. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, a second ago, I, I wanted to point out, I had to darken that left side of the face there. Um, that's one of the issues that um, a friend had pointed out that I do have a problem with is like my values. and But I did cash the problem, thankfully, uh, in time before I like painted the eyes and all that, that I needed to darken it. Because the, in the image, in the reference image, you can see it's... Oh, oh the link is in the description, by the way. Um, in the reference image, it's really dark on that side of the face, and I feel like I could have pushed it even darker. Um, I think I do later. Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember. This, it's been a while since I did this one. This one was back in... It was June. I had to go check. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a couple months ago, um, but it's still one of my favorites. I still love it. There's some issues with it that I didn't like, like the nose shape I didn't get quite right. Um, even someone who came in the chat was like, I was gonna, they were like, after I showed them the reference, they were like, oh, you know, I was gonna ask about that rectangular nose, but I can see it's the same in the reference. I'm not sure if her nose in the reference is as rectangular as mine. I feel like I, I was off a little bit there, but I'm still not sure how to fix it. I think part of the problem is like the shape of her face. Her face is kind of, um, larger at the top half larger than it should be like I think I should have like maybe gone into Photoshop and liquefied a little bit um but this was when I was just getting started and I wasn't really thinking about like after editing in Photoshop and things like that I was just kind of just doing it from scratch and and figuring things out as I went um now I, I kind of think about that like if there are things that I, I didn't discover until like later on in the process it's kind of hard to fix at that point I can fix it up in, in Photoshop afterwards I did that with my my latest piece um, which will post I will be posted in a couple weeks um, I definitely found some issues I was like hmm, gotta fix that but I it's gonna be kind of hard to fix it in paint tool Sai. so I just jumped over there into Photoshop merged all my layers and fixed it there um, I'm already to the hair so the hair I really like how the hair came out and actually what really there was a really cool thing that happened at this point right around when I was doing the hair just before um, I got a raid in twitch so if you if you don't know what a raid is in twitch it a raid is when people from another channel like a person's other channel they'll take all their viewers to a random other stream well not random sometimes they take it to their friends streams or team member streams but this person randomly chose me and brought like 300 and odd people to my channel it was really cool I was really excited and I had to cut out a lot of pauses because I was stopping to chat with people um, but I was so excited and people were complimenting me on the hair and I was really happy because I liked the hair too I really liked how it was coming out um, this ponytail at the back I feel like I gave like I was it was too stringy I feel like I should have kept with the aesthetic of the, the top part where it's not as detailed um, and now we're on to the clothes um, which I as I said before I really didn't put in as much effort as I could have I mean I did I did try you know I wanted to give it texture I used this the hairbrush the brush that I used to do the hair I tried to make fur with so you can see the edges are kind of fuzzy um, and there's like little textures in the shadows there you can kind of see um, I I only did that around the neck the collar um, but I did use a texture brush to do the other sections and kind of give the edges a little bit more variation but I didn't really put in as much effort as I probably could have um, yeah you can kind of see I'm trying to fix the edges here <laughs> You know what? I think my next, I know my next project. <laughs> my next project is gonna be improving how I do clothes and styles, getting to know different styles so I can create things from imagination a little bit better and come up with interesting outfits for my, my characters because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why I have this loathe for doing clothes. Like, I mean, the ones after this, I, I did much better on, I think. Um, like the ones I've posted previously. And the ones coming up um, I think I did a much better job than this first one I feel but yeah 
that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. I, I love, love, love this painting. It's one of my favorites. Hope you liked it too. If you're an artist who would love to see your work, please drop by my Discord and Twitch if you want to see me draw this in real time. I'd love to meet you. Look forward to it. Bye.